Hello, my dear viewers and my dear, dear students. Welcome to my channel, Science and Vigyan. As you already seen, we have, in the previous video, we have discussed the calibration, the basics of the calibration, their recipes in the pharmaceutical industry. Today, we will proceed further for the same. This is the previous one. And today solely we discuss, we start with pH meter. Uh, this we did earlier after pH meter we have discussed in the previous video. Today we will discuss HPLC. Okay, uh, what do you mean by HPLC? You can see here it is mentioned high performance liquid chromatography. Today we will discuss how we will check the calibration of the instrument mean how we how we check the accuracy of the instrument for example what we do with the help of hplc we need to assess the purity of the compound we need to assure whether the given compound is pure or may it contain any kind of impurities that is the hplc fine okay in it you can see this is the instrumentation part of the hplc sorry okay fine yeah, you can see. Okay, fine. Yeah, you can see this is a solvent. After that, there is a pump. There is an injector. After that, HPLC column. Then, sorry. Then it looked like. then detector and last is the waste fine if you want to know about the instrumentation part of the hplc you can man mention the comment in the comment box i would like to describe that in detail fine but today we will solely discuss the calibration as we discussed in the last video what is the calibration calibration mean we need to check the accuracy of the instrument whether the given instrument they give the accurate value or not we need to check that Fine. This is the how the diagram is given in the books or in any kind of journal. And this is the how it looked like in the industry. You can see it looked like cactus. This is the mobile reservoir or this is a detector and there is a pump. In the next video, I will show you, I will give the live uh, video demonstration of the HPLC. Fine. Please stay tuned to my channel and don't forget to like and share the video. If you feel the videos are very useful, please do share the videos with your colleagues also, with your friends also, because our main motto is to spread the knowledge about the subject. Fine? That is our primary motto. Rest things are secondary. Okay. This is again HPLC, uh, solvent reservoir. Then the, you can see this is a man, uh, I will show this. HPLC2 on to the left hand side. I'll show this one in the next video. Stay tuned to my channel for that. Because sometime you forget to have the notification from the channel. So uh, my request to you, please uh, press the bell icon. There is one bell icon. Press that for receiving the updation from, uh, from the channel. Because generally I just uh, drop the information about the upcoming conferences or the workshop that is very useful to you. Fine. Okay. This is a manual injector. There is one knob by which we can lock it or we need to open it. I'll show uh, definitely in the uh, tomorrow only. I'll show the video for the same. Okay. Yeah. Again, this is the water's HPLC. We know uh, like uh, there are the different make of the HPLC. Make me the different company they make the HPLC. This is for the waters. Detector is look like this. After that, there is a auto sampler. Auto sampler mean we are not supposed to put the sample here. You can see in the previous video, uh, in the previous slide, fine. There is a, uh, this is the auto sampler. I'll show. Yeah, this is the auto, auto sampler. This is the auto sampler. Fine. But in the, in the next video, uh, this is the, yeah, 
in the uh, in the this one this is the auto sampler we are not supposed to put anything here uh, like uh, automatically the sample is given to it we need to check the accuracy of this hplc instrument fine yeah these are the main factor by which we need to monitor the calibration parameter of the different parts of the hplc one is a pump other is the auto sampler then the column compartment and the last is the detector in the pump we need to check the flow accuracy and the gradient composition on the auto sampler we need to check the carry over uh, like sometime there is a spill spill over there is a carry over we need to check that otherwise we need to check the linearity of the auto injector also we need to check the column compartment also we need to monitor the temperature accuracy also like there are the n number of the factor we need to do that for example if we we are doing anything we need to uh, check everything before the experiment fine even in the case of detector also we need to check its linearity we need to check its wavelength fine that is a main factor like this is very critical to uh, calibrate the hplc these are the different factor we need to take care while uh, doing uh, while doing the calibration of the hplc Right. Oh, this is the same. Like these are the accepting criterion. Uh, like these are the set value, and other is the actual time, actual time and acceptance criterion. We need to check for the both. Right. You can see if the set, uh, set flow. You can uh, please go through from this channel, uh, for this table once. Yeah. After that. after that we need to uh, check the actual time and there is accepting criteria also like uh, if the set flow is 0.5 ml per minute and the actual time is 20 minute accepting criteria it can be in the range of 19.6 and 20.4 not more than or less than that fine if it is one actual time is 1 ml actual time is 10 minute if it's 2 ml actual time is 5 minute fine we need to follow the same principle if the uh, instrument is not giving the same flow as it is given the table we need to uh, like we need to check the loophole the loophole of the apparatus or the instrument fine this is the injector accuracy firstly we need to connect the pump and the detector inlet with the union after that we need to fill the hplc vial to 2/3 with the milli q water like we know uh, when we use the uh, solvent in the hplc we need to use the at, uh, solvent that is used for the hplc that that is very pure because we know that the hplc column that is of the very small size fine we are supposed to use any other solvent in the hplc otherwise it will uh, like the uh, it will uh, make a very bad impact on the column because we know that column are very costly in the case of hplc so we need to sure about the characteristic of the solvent while using in hplc after that we need to perform the six injection of the specified injection volume and wait the while after completion of each injection fine and this is a mean injecting volume uh, that is equal to uh, like this is a formula w1 minus w2 that is multiply with the 1000 divided by density of the water then multiply with the six fine acceptance criteria is two percent generally we consider the two percent you can see when we uh, check the purity of the compound we need to uh, uh, we need to tolerate the uh, purity percentage by five percent but in the case of here we are very stringent and two percent uh, criteria is follow only fine okay this we will discuss in the next video uh, because today we in this video i just covered the hplc calibration only in the next video i would like to brush up the things with the this again with the this journal uh, attributes and their expectation and uh, again uh, i would like to discuss the calibration of the melting band operators again that is a more important as we uh, if you want to work in industry or in if you want to stay in academics that is very important melting band operators that we will discuss in the next video thank you so much stay tuned to my channel and don't forget to like and share the video thank you god bless you happy learning